this vlog is going to be about the recovery I'm going through. Over the holidays, I did have to have my right implant taken out. I developed a super high fever and thought it was just the flu, but it turned out to be a bacteria infection. In this photo, I did a transformation Tuesday on the Wednesday right before I got sick. And you can see I'm at like my fittest shape I've ever been in before all this happened. As the bacteria infection developed, it really did become super painful, a lot of pressure on my chest, and that's when I knew something was wrong. And you can see my incision would not stay closed. They kept draining fluid, and I was on antibiotics, and nothing was working. But they did take a culture of it, and they couldn't find anything, so it was really odd. This was my last appointment where I met up with him to see how it was healing and if I would be able to keep it. Two days before Christmas, I went in and he said that it was not healing right and he would have to take it out right there. So he numbed me up and went to go see a client and came back and took it out. From all the medicine and antibiotics and fluids they put me with, I got so bloated. My abs were slowly starting to disappear. Hey, Ray. Yo. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. I'm getting my implant put back in. Can you tell that I only have one? Can I tell or can they tell? Like on the video. Uh, yeah. And it should only take about an hour or so. But I'm also getting lip injections. <laughs> For a little pick-me-up. What is this on my head? It looks like a barcode. I don't know. They said they liked my cookies. Good idea. It's a stoner thing. Probably would eat it with like Cheetos though. Or like, of. yeah, like college. Like you don't have, you can't afford silverware. So you're eating with celery. But that's ridiculous. Celery. Can you cut the celery at home? Yep. Sure. You can only prepare healthy meals for me, no matter what I say. And no matter what you're eating. Okay. Any words, Ray? You're so used to this like environment now. It's like <sighs> this is my fifth day post op. You can see things are a little messy around here. Um, I have my makeup on. This is the first day I was able to shower. Thank you, Jesus. Got your people too. I did get lip injections, like I said. You can see a little bruising here. It's nothing too bad, and they're nothing too big. Just a little fuller. But I feel better. Drinking coffee. Ray was gonna get me taped so we can change my gauze. And I'm wearing his hoodie. And I have a wedding to go to tomorrow, so I'm feeling a little bit more like myself. Not sleeping the whole day away like I've been doing, which I haven't minded because it's made time go by faster. And if you don't know me, I'm a busybody. I'm all over the place. So that's my update. And then when Ray gets back, he can fold these gloves. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can go faster. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll hold on. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. 